Autoimmune explained in 10 minutes. What are the lies they tell you about all the time? What are the true causes behind autoimmune diseases and what you can actually do about it? Let's get right into it. When you get an autoimmune disease, what they tell you right away is basically that your own immune system is attacking your body. Your own body is attacking you. This is one of the theories that they invented since the 1960s, 1970s, when women filed into the doctor's offices with different or with just mysterious symptoms, but they didn't know what to do about it. And then they came up with the theory, theory, that your own immune system is attacking your own body. This was never proven. It's just a theory that every med student learns nowadays that the immune system is attacking the own body. But you know what they could never do? They could never prove that the immune system is actually doing it. The only thing they saw were antibodies. And I'm going to explain to you why the antibodies are even there in the first place. I can say for sure that antibodies don't prove that your immune system is attacking you. This is such a big lie and it's just a complete misunderstanding. The next big thing is that if you get an autoimmune diagnosis, you get the label for your disease. For example, you get the label colitis. So first of all, you have inflammation in the gut, you have blood in your stool, and you have all kinds of gut issues. Then you get to the doctors, you don't know what's going on. Then you get the label and it seems like the label is an answer. So you get colitis and now you're thinking, oh, I have colitis, now I know what to do. But this is not an answer, guys. A label is not an answer. It's just a label for your symptom and there's nothing more. So this is also something that you have to be aware of. A label is not an answer. The next big thing, and it's one of the biggest things out there, is that genes are the reason you are sick. This is a complete misinformation and there's so much research nowadays going into the field of genes and this is complete nonsense as well. Why is that? 200 years ago, we didn't even have these diseases that we have nowadays. So did our genes change or are we still the same? Are we still humans or why did our genes change? It doesn't make any sense. And you know why it doesn't make any sense? Because it's not the truth and the truth always makes sense. The next big thing is, is that doctors like to say that often to you that it's all in your head. It's all in your head. You just manifested this illness or you created it with your own thoughts or you're making this up. This is even better. This is one of the hardest things to digest if you have chronic illness, if you have chronic fatigue, if you are in a doctor's office, you have real symptoms and the doctor is not even acknowledging your symptoms. He's saying like you're making all of this up and I can tell you it's bullshit as well. It's the same bullshit as genes the same bullshit as your body is attacking itself. And then they also come up with the idea that inflammation is the reason why we have chronic illness. But they can't answer you where the inflammation is even coming from in the first place. So it doesn't make any sense, right? Basically, all of these things are all big lies. And you can forget about every of that. You can forget about it. You can forget about everything. This is not the truth. This is not the reason why you have autoimmune. The real reason why you have autoimmune, it's basically two things. It's because of viruses and because of toxic heavy metals. For example, viruses like the Epstein-Barr virus, one of the biggest culprits for autoimmune disease. And not even the Epstein-Barr virus, the shingles virus can be also responsible for a lot of autoimmune diseases that I'm going to explain later. Toxic heavy metals, why are they so critical in understanding chronic illness or better in understanding autoimmune diseases? It's because viruses, they feed on toxic heavy metals and they release neurotoxins that can cause a lot of trouble, that can cause symptoms or diseases like MS or myasthenia gravis. These real tough autoimmune diseases that are not caused by the immune system attacking your nervous system or your myelin sheath, it's because of viruses and toxic heavy metals. There are real issues behind your autoimmune disease, not your body attacking itself. There are physical reasons and you are not making this up, never forget that. Which brings me to the next slide, which is about some of the autoimmune diseases 
and what kind of viruses are causing this. A good example is colitis. They always say you have colitis because your own immune system is attacking you, is attacking your gut and is creating the inflammation there. Complete nonsense. Colitis, for example, is caused by the shingles virus. And you might know a shingles virus from the rash that you get outside of your body, but the shingles virus can actually cause symptoms and conditions and autoimmune diseases inside your body. So if colitis is basically a rash in your gut, a rash in your colon, colitis is in the colon, and the shingles virus is creating the inflammation in your colon. That's why you have colitis. Then we have Hashimoto. So many people are suffering from Hashimoto. So many people get Hashimoto diagnosis. And Hashimoto, like all thyroid diseases, is caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. And skin issues like psoriasis or eczema are also caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. Basically, most of these diseases are caused by ABV. Arthritis, psoriasis, MS, Guillain-Barré, myasthenia gravis, most of them sarcoidosis, most of them here CFS, lupus, all Epstein-Barr virus. So now that we know what is even causing autoimmune disease, now we can know what to do about it. And what can you do about autoimmune diseases if you have them? You can change your diet and you can avoid, first of all, the foods that are feeding the viruses in your body. And the three foods that are feeding viruses in the body the most of pathogens are eggs, dairy, and gluten. These foods are feeding viruses. For example, a lot of people say that gluten creates inflammation. Gluten itself doesn't create the inflammation. It's because gluten is feeding pathogens that are causing the inflammation. That's why you get more inflammation when you eat gluten. What you should eat instead, bring in more fruits and vegetables, because especially fruits, they have so high amounts of vitamin C and vitamin C is antiviral. Vegetables, fruits, both of them are antiviral. They support your body so you can get rid of the viruses. So you can even detox heavy metals out of your system. See the best way and how to solve how to get rid of autoimmune diseases. But autoimmune diseases are not the only issue we have nowadays. There are so much more diseases. There's so much more going on. And we are in the biggest health crisis like never before in history. That's why I would highly recommend to you watch my video on YouTube about the health crisis in 2024 because we are in the biggest health crisis that we never saw before and you will get more information about other diseases about what's actually causing other diseases as well and why we are in such a crisis mode nowadays so thank you for watching and see you in this video my friends